Hi there, I'm Lian Duan. Welcome back to my channel. I already go through electrical search and ELK stack concepts. Installed ELK plus Java apps on Docker Compose in previous videos. In this video, I'll demo how to install electrical search, Kubana, Logic Stash, FileBit, and three Java apps on Minikube. After install completed, you will have end-to-end learning environment. The end-to-end -end means three Java apps generate a log. FileBit sends the Java apps log to Logic Stash, and the Logic Stash accesses and shifts the log data to Electrical Search. Kubana is able to access Electrical Search. Kubana UI is ready to use. You will have real-world ELK learning environment on Minikube. There are two major changes are between Docker Compose and Kubernetes. First, convert local config files to Kubernetes config maps. Second, add a service count in FileBit because FileBit.autoDiscover function use Kubernetes API to get port metadata information. Let me know if you like to know Kubernetes service count detail. Please add comments below. I will create a video. The video topics are demo environment detail. Which ELK version will you see in my demo? Demo system overview. Install electrical search, Kubana, Logic Stash, FileBit, and Java app on Minikube. Latest verified Java apps log in Kubana. First topic, my demo environment detail. I'd like to show my demo environment. My Minikube is on my Linux box. My Linux box is Oracle Linux server version 8.4. My login user is Lian, who is able to run Docker, Minikube, and sudo commands. Let me remote login to my Linux box and show the version. Copy paste the command. kite slash etc slash oracle hyphen release. Command used to retrieve the Oracle Linux version. You see Oracle Linux server release 8.4. Minikube version is v1.18.1 and the check command is the Minikube version. The Minikube version is highlighted 1.18.1. I use Minikube 2 version 1.18.1. 3.6 on my VS Code. I'll use the tool to check Minikube resource status. Next topic, what is target ELK version for my demo? The target ELK version is 7.17.0 because when I created the video, the latest ELECO search is V8 beta. Since there is no V8 patch 1, I don't think any production environment use that new version. So I still use the 7.17.0 in my demo. The link has all ELK Docker image release information. This is official website for ELK Docker image. If you want to know how to install ELK 8 version in Docker or Docker Compose or Minikube, please add a comment below. But today, let us work on the ELK version 7.17.0. Next topic. Demo system overview. This is ELK deployment overview on Minikube. My demo environment is Minikube, so we only have one Kubernetes work node. Let me go through the chart. The Minikube has two namespace, app namespace and ELK namespace. I deploy a Java log generator in app namespace. ELK stack is deployed to ELK namespace. In app namespace, Java app log generator is only generate Java app log. There's no any functions. The deployment file is java hyphen app hyphen log generator hyphen deployment dot yaml. The file is already uploaded to my GitHub. The location URL is on the comment section below. App namespace is very simple. Only one deployment resource in there. We move to the elk namespace. First, FileBit has three Kubernetes resources. File config resources type is config map. FileBit daemon site resources. FileBit service account resources. FileBit hyphen config resource convert from FileBit dot 
Docker.yaml file and save to config map. The config map includes filebit.auto discovery part, etc. Filebit daemon set resource means each Kubernetes work node only has one filebit pod running. In step one, you say filebit pod collection pod log in the Kubernetes work node based on the conditions. Third resource is service account. I create a cluster row bounding to link service account and add the service account to filebit pod. Filebit.autodiscovery use the service account to get the pod metadata such as image name or based on the label to select related pods. Filebit send the pod log to logic stash in step two. The filebit YAML file is filebit hyphen deployment hyphen daemon site dot yaml. Second important part in elk namespace is logic stash. Logic stash have four resources, two config maps, one deployment resource, and one service resource. The two config maps are for logic stash configuration. One is logic hyphen yaml hyphen config. Other is logic stash hyphen config hyphen config. I will create a separate use for the logic stash config detail. This is logic stash normal deployment resource. It only mount two config maps to logic stash pod. Other part, same as regular deployment resource. Logic stash service resource defines logic stash service name and port number. Logic stash process pod logs through input stage filter stage, output stage, and send a lot of data to electrical search service. The port number is 9200 on step three. The YAML file is logic stash deployment service.yaml. Next, electrical search. To simplify my demo, there is no electrical search cluster and electrical search high availability. Electrical search has one deployment resource and one service resource. The service port is 9200. The YAML file is es-deployments-service.yaml. Latest resource is Kubana. Kubana has two resources. One is deployment, other is for service. Kubana service open the port 5601 for browser access. YAML file is Kubana hyphen deployment hyphen service dot yaml. Next topic, install electrical search, Kubana, logic stash, file bit, Java apps on Minikube. There are five steps. Let me open my terminal again. All the YAML files under my KHS EKLFS folder. First step, install electrical search. Run command, kube control apply hyphen f plus file name. Three resources created. First, elk namespace. Second, electrical search deployment. Third, service resource. Let me use plugin to check the status. Click, go down to Minikube. Naming space default is default namespace. So you cannot see any of our resource created in there. So first step, I will have to select the elk namespace and then go to workloads, check deployments. ES created, and then check pods. One electrical search pod is created. How about service? Let us check it. Let me make it bigger. Service in there under the network. ER service created. We export two pods. One is 9200 for outside API call. Other port 9300. The port is used to cluster communication. Just in case in the future you want to add more electrical search node. All the resources look good, so we go to the next step. Add the service port forward because Logic Stash and Kubana use the service port to access the electrical node. Command is kube control port forward. Type is service. Service name is ES hyphen service. Port is mapping. Port is 9200. Namespace is elk. Second step, install Kubana. You see the command kube control apply minor f 
plus Kubana YAML file name. Resource created. Each time you go to the Kubernetes plugin, remember click refresh to get your status. Port is still in the created stage. Kubana is running. Next, I use the same command kube control to create a Java app log generator. Namespace app is created. Deployment resource created. Let me quick check. Refresh. Switch namespace. Since I set up deployment, replica site equal to three. So we have three Java pod. First step, create a logic stash. Run same command as before. kubectl plus logic stash yaml file. To configure map, is created one deployment resource and the service resource. The service resource port will be mapped to the 5400. File bit will use the service plus 5400 port to access logic stash service. So I have to add the port forward command. Command kube control port forward space service slash logic stash service. Port is 5400. Study is pending, so give time for the Kubernetes. Let us try again. Run same command without any error because service and pod are running. First step, deploy file bit. Same kube control command. Configure map resource for file bit is created. Demon site is created. Three resources related to the service account also created. Latest topic for today, verify Java apps log in Kubana. Let me back to the system overview. If we are able to see the Java app log generator log in Kubana, that means Java app log generator create a log. File bit use auto discovery function retrieve the three Java pods log and then send it to the Java app log to logic stash. Use logic service port is 5400. Logic stash use input filter output stage to process the data and send the data to electrical search where electrical search service plus port 9200. And then we use the browser address is localhost port is 5001 to access the Kubana to retrieve the log. If we are able to retrieve the log, that means all the five steps successfully. Let me remote log into my Linux box. Open the browser. Kubana access URL is localhost 5001. Cannot access because we didn't add Kubana port forward. Let me do that. Let me try again. We're able to access the UI now. Go to drop down menu and go down to the stack management. Create an index first, manual index pattern. Select timestamp, create. And then go to the data menu, click index management. Health is yellow because we only have one node. Go to the discovery menu. Which one under the analytics? Select latest 15 minutes. Open one of them. So I add the port name. One port. Second port. Third port. We are successfully collecting the three Java port log. That means five steps successfully. All topics are completed. To summarize what we learned in the video. My Kubernetes version is 1.18.1. .1. My dev environment is Oracle Linux. 8.6. Our target elk version is 7.17.0. And then I demo how to install Electro Search, Logic Stash, Kubana, Filebit, Java App Log Generator on MiniQ step by step. Latest, we verify three Java apps log in Kubana. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was help, and it was. Do not forget to like it. If you want to be notified whenever new videos come out, then subscribe to my channel. If you have any question or something was not clear in the video, 
please post them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer. Thank you, and see you next video.